Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac ASP.NET C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to send file attachment in uh, in email using smtp.gmail.com in ASP.NET C Sharp application. So there is a two part I am just converting with that. First part I am going to configure the uh, application and second part I am going to configure the app password in my account in Google and we will send an email to particular user. So prerequisites is that uh, email, uh, internet connection should be there in your system where you are developing that when you are uh, using the smtp.gmail.com for the sending an email. And second is uh, you need the email and email provider where you will send the mail to, with the uh, as per you, as you have a Gmail address, Yahoo address and your organization any email address where you can send an email to particular address. And third is SMTP detail for the sending email where we using the SMTP simple mail transfer protocol we will just send an email to any account. Next, let's uh, let's create the application to for the sending an email. That is uh, going to I'm going to search the start then all programs then going to search the my uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2015. Next, I'm going to create a new website and with using the visual c sharp and giving the name to the uh, application i am going to the create a empty website next i am going to give the name of the website and third i am going to uh, next i am going to create the page for that and uh, there i am going to create the form so going one by one, let me, uh, I'm going to search the Visual Studio in my all programs. Here is a Visual Studio, let me search. There is a Visual Studio, when I will click the Visual Studio, it will open the Visual Studio. I'm going to create the web website. So click on <coughs> file, go to the new, go to the website. I'm giving some website left side just uh, select visual c sharp in middle part if you, uh, you want to change the dotnet framework then you can change otherwise leave it dotnet framework whatever why so 4.5.2 i am going to use next i am going to give the name of the web, web application here and click on ok so whenever i am clicking the ok i am getting the web.config and there is a send email address with attachment name is coming so solution explorer if solution explorer is not visible to you then go to the view and there is a solution explorer you will get it here so control alt l also you can click to get the solution explorer now next part i am going to create a default dot aspx page for the sending a mail with attachment so create add add new item go to the web form give the name if you want uh, i am just keeping the code in the separate file just said i don't want to use master page now so leave it as uh, as it is and click on ok add. so page created so with the separate file means there is a code site file is created dot cs file there is a c you can be, uh, see the extension that dot cs file so sp spx files file let me create the form so i have already the form code i'm going to add this form code creating the form is quite easy you can get, uh, get the text box and level from the toolbox as per your requirement if you uh, follow my previous video then you can uh, get it how to create a form form creating is quite easy not a difficult task so i'm going to create the form here i'm i'm taking one heading tag then one level lbl message for the any message and there is a one level where I'm writing the two, then text, uh, text to mail, wherever I'm sending to mail, that is I'm writing, then upload document, one I'm upload, uh, file upload, file upload is here, I'm taking one file upload, okay, tag, then uh, next is uh, subject, then text message. Then uh, I'm creating on click here, on click, on click, I'm removing the on click for now. So I want to create the on click function back and side. See, there is only one function is there. 
so if you want to create the key on click is equal to then you will get a page load or create a new event so click on the create a new event so automatically one function will be created previously only one was there now once uh, one more is there so on this button click i will just uh, write a code to send a email with attachment before that i name some uh, i want some namespaces so you will give System dot net or using system dot net dot. I have uh, some CS page code. I'm going to use that code now. Code will be available with the website and with the code also. So here ma uh, mail message, mail, new mail message from where, where from where I'm just sending the mail. So I'm using my mail address in Jira, and there is a Chirag sp.net csr tutorial and uh, I am writing some subject hello test message with attachment chirag sp.net csr tutorial and here mail body hello this is a test message for checking the upload document in mail i am not passing the subject and body from the app if i want to pass then i can pass it so not a problem so in for now i am just let me comment these two lines so now we have a minimum code So there is a one text box, uh, sorry, one text box for mail, one for the uh, one upload, file upload, browse button for the file upload, and one for the button. That's it. We're sending a mail through that. And next, I'm just sending to mail to that particular address. So it, this is the ID of the mail address, and there is a file document H file only. File will be there. Then I'm going to attach the file to there. Okay. Next, I'm going to SMTP using SMTP. SMTP is a new SMTP port number 587. I'm using the smtp.gmail.com. If you are using any your domain SMTP, then you have a port number that that port number should be assigned there. Enable SSL. Yes, I'm using SSL and I'm not different uh, using default credentials. I'm putting false SMTP credentials here. Your Gmail address in Chirax at the red gmail.com and your google app password so let's create the app password so now i'm going to create the app password so go to the your mail address click on this uh, dot dot button there is the account go there go to the set security then there is a two step verification should be on there you go to the app password click on the app password click on next So now I'm going to create one app password. This is my old app password. I'm clicking that. If you are using any of these apps, so select this. If you are not, then go to the other. And email attach test. Attach test. So I'm going to generate that. I will get the app password. So there is a go to the setting and a password you will get so just copy copy this one and put in your network credentials a password place don't put any spaces here then click on done let me check now i'm going to run this is for the message whenever mail will be sent so email sent successfully message will come then i'm going to put the color of the message in the green color But let me go to the SPS page, right click on that, give him browser. So send email to attachment. I'm going to put my email address. Here at 
enter it and then dot com file upload click on that i'm uploading one any of file just like this file i'm going to upload click on submit email sent successfully let me go to the my email address this mail address in here in email address so go to there so hello test email from attachment this is coming hello and there is a email attachment is also there so in this video we have learned how to send file attachment in the email using the smtp.gmail.com in sp.net csr first which we, uh, we should uh, uh, should have the email uh, internet connection then some email id then smtp detail then we are creating the page then form next i am creating the app password again and app with the app password i am sending an email there is a code for the sending an email code hope this will help thank you for watching